Greetings family, we're live on Revolutionary Cam and uh, this is my last day here in Ghana. Our tour group left a week ago and uh, we've been on the ground doing some incredible fact-finding research and mission and organizing. Uh, so we went to Garvey Town, uh, went in that area for about two days and then just uh, spent a good few hours at Garvey Town. So we have a lots of wonderful updates about our incredible investment options for our community, Garvey Town. Uh, so we've got a lot of nice uh, videos and details for you to be clear on. But family, all the details for our tours and investment is always on our website, AfricaForTheAfricans.org. And everything is right there on the main menu. And as we were here at the Macon Hotel in East Lagarde, we've done a few different interviews and a few different positive energy, just reaching out to people, basically telling everybody that we want the right people to come on this journey, to experience the journey of a lifetime, and be and have nothing but positive energy with others, so we can work together in union as a people, and build great, build great energy for the future of Africa. Uh, it's uh, it's enough negative and bad energy in America already, mm -hmm. and us coming together are the best of our brothers and sisters, and we have to represent this right. Right, my sister. Absolutely, brother. Absolutely. How's it been in the last few days as you've been you know, been here? Africa is what it always is life for us. <laughs> I've been having an awesome time. We went to Kiki um, Kiki's uh, Bees <laughs> Lounge and Restaurant. I got some good fish. My tummy full. <laughs> and some good snapper. And just grateful, great people. You gotta come to Africa. Like you just feel in charge, you know. Got to meet with the former mayor of Africa. It was really nice. Former mayor of what? I mean, of Accra. Uh, Accra. Uh, <laughs> absolutely, you know, family has to be clear on things. And as we talk about being clear on things, uh, this is my favorite neighborhood, East Lagoon, and we have a few different hotels. Uh, we have stayed at the MJ Grand, but uh, we usually book for the Micken Hotel since their accommodations is easier with our groups of you know, people needing two separate beds. Um, but in the neighborhood, everything is in walking distance. Um, uh, great Jamaican restaurant, yeah, Jam Rock. There's a mall inside the neighborhood, AMC Mall, and there's also a mall across outside the neighborhood, the Accra Mall. So you have all your shopping. There's a whole banking district inside the neighborhood. Uh, and uh, so once you come into Ghana, we bring, bridge you into a nice neighborhood. You walk around to the mansion, the beautiful homes. Yes. You, you, you go to nightlife. Uh, you enjoy the wonderful energy. and. We walk around and nobody bothers us, no problem. And it's just great positive energy. So when you're coming on a journey of a lifetime, we want you to experience the journey of a lifetime. Our car is more developed and, and high advanced. But now, once we go to other parts of Ghana, Kumasi is, you know, is up there. The Mekong Hotel is actually better there in Kumasi. And uh, you know, it's because it's, you know, it's brand new and it's, you know, it's uh, have more, you know, more, more access to where you have balconies and things like that. Even though where we at is our big balcony that's right by our room. Uh, but nevertheless, I, you know, we try to step it up a little bit for you. But at the same time, too, when we get to Cape Coast, Elmina, we're limited on accommodations. There's Coconut Grove, but they're usually booked up and sometimes they don't have the rooms that we need. Um, but what we have done is historically just stayed at One Africa and then offered additional other hotels. We have this brand new hotel called the Carrick Hotel. So folks, one day, AC and hot water and fridge. <laughs> you got that at the Carrick Hotel. Remember, family, when you're at One Africa, um, we, you know, if you commit to staying there, you're there for three days, we do our best to make sure that you enjoy it. It's a community. It's uh, not your typical hotel. Like we said, no AC, no hot water, and no fridge, no TVs, none of those things. But those things are at the other hotel across the street, the Carrick Hotel. Or One Africa give you beach access, so you have to decide which one you want. Whichever one you decide Stability is fine with me. It doesn't matter. I'm going to stay at One Africa and in my chalet number two. Uh, we have eight rooms available to offer to you. So for those who are traveling with us, if you want to stay at One Africa, it's on a priority list. You have to let us know. Everyone else, we're naturally going to give you the, the rest of the accommodations which you've been used to uh, in Accra, in Kumasi. Uh, that way you feel your level of comfort. We don't want no drama, no problems with anyone. Uh, but at the same time, to you got to understand you're in Africa, this is Africa, so you know, maybe the water go out, maybe the light go out, maybe certain things. But whatever the situation is, we have to be mature adults and deal with it. Um, people like ourselves, when you travel with me, you have a brand new bus. You have the best staff of people available. You know, so we do our best. But at the same time, too, there's no perfect journey. And if anything is perfect, it lacks 
the experience that you need to grow. Witness. You know? <laughs> and so I tell people, if you want to have five-star hotels in Cape Coast, Elmina, maybe you should come and build it. <laughs> Last time I tried to put out a group in a five, four-star hotel in Cape Coast, Elmina, they complain about all kind of things, and things not working, and that's the Elmina Beach Resort. You know, so you know, I tell people, we don't own hotels. We don't own any of these Touch places. <laughs> we don't own jet planes. We have to work with Touch the people it. who own these uh, establishments to provide Absolutely. the best experience for you. We have to work with the airlines, whether it's Ethiopian Airlines, whether it's Delta, KLM, with the South African Airways, and do our best to work. And we have to work with these wonderful black-owned establishments uh, as best as we can offer it to you. Our South Africa journey, uh, the hotels are not black-owned, but we, that's where we literally just have a standard three-star, four-star hotel-type setup. You know, so if you're coming for the hotel and you're coming for those kind of comfort, come to South Africa with us. But if you're coming for the, one of the most incredible experience, Ghana is it. You get everything in Ghana. Yes. You know, it's a complete package. Uh, uh, there's life nothing book, missing. Life <laughs> yeah, if you can think of something, let me know. Because right now, I can't think of anything that is lacking but us, but you. You're lacking. You need to be here. And so family, a Queen of Africa journey that we're organizing for is October 2019, and then we have South Africa in November, led by myself, and Ghana, December, um, led by myself. Uh, so you can just go on the website and look at the details and look at what works for you, but our sister, we're going to empower her to have a nice, solid, wonderful group and keep on building. That way we have more of us doing these wonderful journeys, that way we can organize our investments together and be more in union as a people. So family, once again, this is Bomani Terma and we're live in Ghana, Accra, and as we close out on the last day and getting ready to enjoy a wonderful fall and winter journey for a lifetime in the motherland. So family. See you in October. All right, anything else you want to share? Make sure you're here. Absolutely family. So just reach out to us. All the details will be in the description and then we'll connect. Make sure you go to the website as well, AfricaForTheAfricans.org. All right family, we keep it strong. <laughs>